we're sitting with Bjarke Engels. We just wanted to talk a little bit about Plus Plus, so thanks for inviting us into your, your home here today to be creative, to uh, thanks for letting your people build with Plus Plus. So we're here with Box, our new, our new product uh, that we're launching this year, and just love to hear a little bit about what you, when you see, when you look at Plus Plus, when you play with Plus Plus, what's attracting you to it, what's uh, as, a de as a design element. No, of course, like, I think the, um, one of the things, I mean, maybe the first thing about Plus Plus, which is interesting, is that it's a, it's a, it's a, single, it's a single form that uh, has this kind of incredible ability to combine with more of itself in various ways. And I think just like in architecture, in architecture you have something called tectonics, which is the sort of the art and science of putting things together based on the materials or the geometries. Yeah. So the, to express the tectonics of a certain material, so for instance, like when like concrete is a liquid uh, that inherits the shape of what you pour it into, right. um, bricks uh, are, are elements that, where you can put many of them together and with a little bit of variation, you can create certain things. Uh, wood has another tectonic, yeah. etc. And I think what's interesting about Plus Plus is that it's, it, it also demands uh, something from the, from the creator when you yeah. build with it or play with it. Yeah. it. It wants to do certain things yeah. and it doesn't really want to do other things. Mm -hmm. So you somehow have to, you know, get to know the tectonics of Plus Plus. Yeah. And, uh, and you can, sometimes you can push it to do things that it, it might not want to do, and, but when you crack the code, it becomes yeah. like this kind of eureka moment. Yeah. And uh, there's like a, a famous uh, American architect, uh, Louis Kahn, he famously had this conversation, he was, he was a lot into tectonics, and he had this conversation with a brick where, this, where it said, uh, uh, you know, where the brick tells him that it likes an arc. Because when you are, when you're working with bricks, right. you can only do things in compression, and the only way to do a span right. is by creating an arch. Uh, so that's why, and, and Louis Kahn was reminding all architects, just because we have steel now, and just because we can put a steel beam and put the brick on top of it, right. no, 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 the brick likes the arc. Right. So let it, let it be the arc. Right. And, I, and I think what, what we tried to do today was to give um, all, all, my, uh, all my colleagues uh, one of these boxes with the same set of, uh, of plus plus in it, yeah. a few uh, different shades of gray and a, and a fluorescent orange. I, I love the fluorescent colors. Uh, and then challenge them to, to, to play with the possibilities and the limitations right. that are in, uh, in Plus Plus. One of the things I find interesting is that kids, little kids especially, are not intimidated by Plus Plus. They instinctively know what to start to do with it. Whereas adults can sometimes be a little bit intimidated by it because it is not as clear as maybe you know, other, other building toys of what, what you're supposed to do with it. And I, I like that. I like that there's nothing you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to display. Exactly. And design. And so uh, I love seeing the designs that the Bigsters have uh, come up with. So what, what are you looking for as you evaluated the, the creations here today? Well, I, I, there was like a few things. Um, oh, and I, actually, maybe one, one uh, other thing is that uh, I have a giant bowl of Plus Plus uh, at my home. And because we live a little bit in Copenhagen and a little bit in New York, so often I have friends, some mine, staying in our New York home. Yeah. And every time I come back, they always, and especially if they have children, they leave creations or like big messages in yeah. Plus Plus yeah. on, the, on the main uh, <laughs> sort of living room table. But um, I think some of the things we ended up looking at here was, and you can somehow see it in the, in the finalists, um, you know, one is sort of innovation or what you could call reframing mm -hmm. that we gave the job of saying like, you have the, the box with the Plus Plus inside, please submit uh, your creation with this as the podium. And you know, one of them used the box as part of the creation, so it became this kind of strange uh, little insect. Uh, um, so I think this idea of, of reframing the problem, I think is, a, is something to look at. Then um, one of them created this kind of entire tableau uh, of like these small swans flying in formation, like. Uh, submitted with the music of the Swan Lake. 
but uh, and it was it was a pretty epic tableau with like layers of perspective, etc. But slightly on the edge of what uh, what you could make a hold. So you could yeah. say the its weakness was its weakness. Right. Uh, on the other hand, someone made something that was maybe less captivating. It was basically just like a big uh, wheel or sort of um, what do you call it, the uh, barbell. Yeah. But uh, you could roll it down a ramp, right. uh, and we did it multiple times, and it's still there. Yeah. So its its strength was its strength. Yeah. Um, and then I think some people like made very abstract creations, which were um, pretty remarkable, and some of them really created. And I think that's also one of the strengths, maybe especially for for like a, a more grown-up audience, is to really sort of experiment with the kind of pure tectonics right. of plus plus right. in, in, in the abstract. What are the, what are the kind of formations that you can create with this uh, yeah. this material? And then and then I would say some some people really succeeded in uh, making something that landed. That like some, like in a way like nailed all of the boxes like because like some people made something figurative, someone made this kind of f f fish bone that was actually a reenactment of a noma dish, pretty pretty mind blowing, uh, mind blowingly well done. Some people made these kind of Pac-Man ghosts, that is like a, a clearly a new form that I that I think we're gonna see more of those in in the plus plus universe. Yeah. And then someone made um, made this big uh, fish like a tropical fish yeah. that was like beautifully made geometrically, uh, like lovely resolved and completely figurative. So in a way, like almost ticking every single box, right. which made it uh, maybe the undisputed uh, win winner of this, yeah. uh, this quest. But I was, I was like going into it, I, was, uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. Right. Uh, but I have to say that the, I'm happy to see that uh, the guys are super creative <laughs> and really good at building stuff. So, thank God. Good. <laughs> no, and we didn't give them any constraints, right? We gave them a box with 400-ish pieces and the base plate and go, right? There were no particular, uh, uh, cons no constraints at all. So it's really cool to see how they, they really freed themselves from those constraints in, in a lot of cases, so. Oh, totally. Cool. Totally. Fantastic. Uh, so much fun. Yeah. <laughs>